Hey, hey everyone, welcome back. And it's, today we'll be starting off with a new tutorial series, specifically with, with Revit. In this case, we will be using Revit 2020. And uh, before we get started, I would really, really ask you to please like and uh, subscribe to this channel. It really, really helps me keep making these uh, videos. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a, with, a, with a new project. I'm gonna select Architectural Template. And now this part is optional, but if I go to the, to the Browse tab and then I switch to uh, Templates, I can go into my metric files and go for default metric. But, but of course, this is a, an optional step. Okay, and once that is set, we can then click OK and uh, set up our new Revit file. So the first thing I, wa I want to talk about is uh, the uh, layout. And you, and you want to take into consideration uh, f the uh, five ba basic windows. So the obvious one first would be the uh, viewport where you will be building your model or project. To the left, we have the uh, properties tab, which which has all the details, attributes, and the uh, and the characteristics of the of the model or detail that you will be working on. On our right side, we have the uh, project browser, which essentially has all the, the views that you will be needing for for your uh, project, inclu including floor plans, elevations, legends, so on and so forth. Okay, I'm going to close these again back to our level level one here on the on the on the top we have our uh, quick access toolbar which has all the the immediate tools without needing to, to go through uh, all of these tabs and of course last but uh, not not least we have our tab uh, collection here with all the the tabs for you to use in your in your project so if you want to use architectural elements you have the architecture tab if you want to use structural elements, you have the structure tab. If you want to go into more detailed structural elements, there's the steel the steel tab. If you want to work with uh, plumbing and systems, there's the there's the systems tab. If you want to import all kinds of elements, then there's the the insert tab. For annotations and uh, small um, uh, warnings and uh, measurements, you have the annotate tab. For any kind of analysis to your model, you have the the Analyze tab. If you want to work with more uh, conceptual uh, masses or models or to design topography, there's the Massing and, and uh, Site tab. If you want to make your file a collaborative file with uh, other members, there's the a Collaborate tab. If you want to add in new new views that, that, are, that are not available yet, you have the View tab, including this uh, 3D view. You also have the uh, ma the manage tab if you want to work with uh, di with uh, Dynamo or use elements from uh, other Revit projects. You have the uh, the add-ins tab, which uh, works essentially as a uh, as a plugins tab. And of course, when you're working on a very specific element of your of your project, into the very specifics. Okay, now uh, with that being said, let's get modeling. Okay, so in order to to start modeling, the f the first thing we need to dominate is the pan, the orbit, and the zoom. So if you simply wanna wanna pan around, simply press your uh ma your mouse wheel, and then you can easily pan a pan around. If you if you want to orbit, you j you just need to press shift and then your wheel in order to orbit around, easily like like that. And if you want to zoom, then simply move your uh, mouse wheel back and forth in order to, to zoom. Uh, okay then, uh, with that being said, you also have the, uh, the uh, view cube here where you can easily alternate between, between different, different views. I'm gonna go back here to uh, uh, this one. Okay, now in, in this case, let's assume that you, you, you don't know exactly how you want to uh, build your uh, Revit models in terms of, bi of uh, BIM elements. So you want to start off with something a bit more conceptual. In, in this case, we'll, we'll be making a 5x5x5 five by five by five, uh, a cubic compact home. And to draw its uh, concept, I'm going I'm to go into the massing and, uh, and uh, side tools. I'm going to go into in place mass. You can, you can give it whatever name you uh, want. Uh, 
press OK. And in this case, I want to do something as simple as a 5 by 5 by 5 cube. So I'm gonna go here into my uh, rectangle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a uh, a um, square square here. However, you might have noticed that our units are are a bit off, even though we are dealing with uh, metric units. But to change this, you can simply click UN for uh, units. And uh, in this case, we have essentially all that we need except for the length here, which we want to change from millimeters to meters. Now I'm also going to add in three decimal places like that okay and uh, now now we can we can we can change these and to be able to see the uh, dimensions we can go up here and click activate that dimensions and as i click this line we have one here which i will now change to five meters and if i click this one here i can also change this one to five meters okay uh, now we need to get the uh, height of of this model so if I select it here I can just go into create form and a form will be generated and then all I have to do is click here to give it a five meter height just just like that okay looking good also um, in in this case since since we want to have two two uh, floors here we also need to make a slight change but before that let's just finish our mass okay looking good and uh, we want we want our two floors to uh, match match this cube. So in this case, we want to bring our level two down to 2.5, which is of course half half of uh, five. And uh, yeah, for the uh, very basic uh, massing of our uh, home, this is this is all you you will be needing. Okay, okay, guys. Hope you've liked this very small introductory. Uh, tutorial and we and we will be back next time with the building with the building envelope